Legend of Total War here with part 89 of my Stainless Steel 6.4 Pure Hearted Crusader States Let's Play campaign. Previously, we conquered the city of uh, Krakow from the Danes. And have, yeah, just been fighting them. Okay, now I was having a look around and I realized down here I've got an army which I was, I think, holding out against the Sicilians, but they're fucking gone. What I'm going to do here is recruit a general. And take these guys on a tour up through Africa and build lots of forts. Uh, it's not forts. Um, watchtowers. God, look at this crap. Get rid of that. No, actually, just no. That settlement's never going to get attacked. Yeah, build lots of watchtowers and bring them into uh, Iberia. Apart from that, I couldn't see anything else that needs to be done. Actually, there was one thing. This guy over here we needs to build just a few more watchtowers. We're completely surrounding the Kiev and Rus, but they don't seem to want to do anything about it. Which is fine with me. Yeah, you can spend the rest of your days in Polotsk, for all I care. Okay, and at Riga. It's not much, but... Oh no, these guys aren't... I don't know if they'll make an attack, because their their next closest region is quite a distance away. Alright, let's move on. Oh, I forgot about him. Deal. Oh, fuck. You bastards. I don't want a ceasefire, you fucks. Fine, I don't have a choice. At least we managed to take an extra settlement away from them. I mean, they ended up with set of, uh, two of my settlements. Um, something and, and Clermont. I can't remember the other one's name. But we took three settlements away from them. They were arguably more valuable. What does the Holy Roman Empire want? Please tell me I built siege equipment at Granada. I think they pulled away from the siege at Mercia, and they're. Th it the uh, enemy doesn't matter. They're still surrounded. All these whatever. So our relations with the Pope's increased. Great. Like I give a fuck. Hasn't sent us out any other missions. And here's the bloody Teutonic Order. Now, just out of curiosity, okay, there's a bit of corruption. I'm assuming that one of the settlements here, Groningen, that's what it's called, um, had a Master Thieves Guild, so. Oh well, here yeah, the Horde arrives, the Teutonic Order. Focusing on me instead of the Danes, they walked right past the Danes, bastards. Well, whatever. If they want to try their luck at Magdeburg, so be it. It's actually not in our best interest to fight them. Where's a diplomat? I'm going to see if I can get a peace treaty with them. They clearly have no interest in getting that settlement back, so... That doesn't matter. What have we got here? Oh, that's a spy. I don't need that. You will want one. You have something in I don't think I've got a diplomat in the area. I'll have to recruit one. Ah, shit. Can't recruit one there. Recruiting one from here will take too long to get there. I have to recruit from Prague. Alright then. So, they still have the siege going at Stalfen, but they've left Bern not that well defended. Some forces here that I could possibly send down to relieve the siege. It might be best to let that siege happen. And over here, okay, they've decided to move out this way. However, if we actually built siege equipment here, which I did, this is the end of them. Most of these soldiers here are in complete weakness. However, he's a good general. They're not going to break too easily. And this is a citadel, I think, that we're up against. Well, whatever. If we lose here, it's not the end of the world, but it would be great if we won, because then it would be the end of their world. And that'd be just another faction we don't have to worry about anymore. This will make the Pope fucking happy. I don't give a shit. Oh, this is a citadel. 
here comes the grind fest. Alright. How are we going to go about this? Alright, I want these guys off the rams. I'm going to put pikes on the rams. Uh, no, you know what? I will put arbalest on the rams. Yeah, whatever. So one here and one at another entrance. Here. They've probably got ballista towers. these guys over here and we'll just get ever wherever get in wherever they're not that well defended they're actually not that well defended over here it seems it's a unit over this way what is it nothing to be too concerned about I will actually send this unit up on the walls What's shooting at it? Oh, they get a few heavy archers. Let them have their fun. They're not going to get anywhere. Okay, they do have ballista towers though. Sit nice, bright, sunny day. That's what I like to see. No, don't do this to me. Don't. Fucking assholes. Drop the ramp and shoot them. The letters are now in place. Walls are no match for valor and force of arms. Fuck, motherfuckers. Alright, let's see. Um. You get down here. These guys here are pretty much sacrificed, but it's fine. They're just cheap long range crossbow militia. I've got heaps of them. If you can, shoot them. I don't care if you get friendly fire. Most of them just captured anyway. Fuck, they're going. Fuck that, get in over here and help shoot them. This gate over here is still open, so there's no point manning the ram. What am I going to do with you? Why is this active? Because they come up here to fight. Well, I don't actually need you to fight on the walls. I want you to get down here. Morale's not good. What's going on over here? Why are you getting shot? Probably artillery tower. Okay, I want you to get off the wall. Shoot them if you can. Okay, we've got some fiery cavalry over there. Not really too... Well, whatever. They can't really skirmish properly. Let's go in there and kill them. Come on, hurry up. Move it. Sometimes they just don't do as they're told. Don't dick around, get into them, and fucking carve them up. I think there's actually two battalions of them here. Oh yeah, one's already weakened. Whoops, I don't know how that happened. Uh, probably because they... Never mind. Get them out of there if you can. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. As long as they're not shooting, our guys will win. Shoot them. Good, they're fucked. Still kept that going. Those, those units will run out of ammo soon. So once you stop them shooting, they're really no threat at all. These are some good quality cavalry here that we're destroying. Let's shoot him. Come on, 
get in there. Those grenade lances have been destroyed. Okay, we got camel camel gunners. These guys have already got guns. Interesting. And they don't seem to be firing very efficiently at the moment. Just to get in there, finish them off. If, if these guys could just finish them off, then as far as I'm concerned, they've already done their worth. But then I want them to get into loose formation and charge those gunners. Eventually they'll run out of ammunition. They just didn't fight back. Don't use the blunt end. Fucking swing it. They're not even fighting back. Plant that fucking axe head right into their chest. Alright, now get into loose formation and charge these camel gunners before they blast you into oblivion. Ooh, yeah, that's the problem with guns. It fucks up morale. Shoot them as well. That means they're dead. Oh well, it happens. Jeez, when are they going to run out of ammo? Alright, however, guns don't have long range. Let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to grab you. No, no, not you. I thought you were a arbalist. You come over here. Have you stand here and try and shoot into this if you can. So we're doing pretty well so far, 12% to 21%. That's pretty bad what happened there with the uh, camel gunners. And shoot into there if you can. Problem is, this fucking thing. So I just want to move it out of the way. It's fine, just wanted to move it out of the way, don't need to move it too far. And then shoot that. Oh, come on, you should have an easy shot with that. Get in. Oh, don't get in too close. There's boiling oil. Oh, I just put them on fire at will. No, they don't like that either. No, they don't like it. Fuck. What am I supposed to do here? I can't bring them in any closer. Got a clear shot of them as well. Alright, what I'll do is I'll grab you. Where are you? Ah, oh, they're over here. What about you? Okay, get off this. Oh, uh, wait, no, don't. Oh, they've already got that area covered now. I'm just trying to look for a weakness somewhere. I rush them in here, they're dead. Hmm. I have an idea. You get in nice and close. And then I'm going to send this unit in. You need to get right up close so the towers don't aim at you. I need his um, need his abilities here. If I can get the pikes to stand here and to actually get, get into their pike formation, I need them to run. That's the problem. They might be able to do okay against that. Problem is they're not going to be too happy about this. Okay, you're still taking damage. So you're going to need to come more over here. Okay, you should be safe right there. Okay. 
Okay, this is just part A of, uh, of the plan. Then the next part is the Arbalist. Chuck him in. Also takes some boiling oil damage. Who shoot? I heard gunfire. I don't think they're firing properly. We have captured the enemy's fuck, fuck, fuck. You guys turn around, fight them. Actually, just, just flat out, just turn around. Okay, it's leaving them undefended. That's okay, bring in the next load. Oh, they're already... You need to shoot them. And you... Okay, get into the attack against them. I just want them to lock them in combat so we can shoot them. Because these, these pikes do fuck all damage. Get into the fight with them then. So this is no more boiling oil. How are we going? 16 to 22%. We're winning still. They're good. And shoot them. And these guys here are still doing nothing. Let's get in another another load of. Um, I'm moving too slow. Get these guys in, put them up in the walls, shoot them. Fuck, they're supposed to lock them in combat. Come on, get out of there. Keep them busy, just get out of there. I hate pikemen. I really hate them. Okay, come the camel gunners. Let's get, come on, hurry up, get over here. You, just stay back. What are they shooting anyway? Are they shooting these? I don't think so. down. Fight down. Fight them. Okay, should be able to shred these bloody camels if you're in pike formation. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Getting closer or was he just going to do friendly fire? Okay, good. Now you get up on the wall. You're safe to do so now. Over this way. getting absolutely slaughtered, but that's okay. You'd expect the Christian guard there to slaughter them. Right, it's supposed to be on this side over here, actually. Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter, does it? Just get up on the walls. Can we get rid of those camels? Then shoot those Christian guard. Actually, no, shoot the bodyguard. And here's where all the kills are coming. Well, we got rid of their um, Christian guard, but also destroyed our pike militia. Oh no, the fucking pike militia. Who cares about them? What's this over here? Lumped on our spears. It's fine. Kill their motherfucking Sultan. Or Kelly, for whatever he is. Get rid of him. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. You should be able to move it up to here. You get a better angle at them. Those pikes are actually doing pretty well. I mean, they got rid of the entirety of those uh, camel gunners. The battle is very much in our favor. 
If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Kill him. The enemy king is Good. A worthy enemy, and we've now killed 66% of them. We so most of their forces are up here. Do they have any... In the town square? No. It's waiting on these guys to finish up and win here. You know, I really don't like it that they do that. Sort of. Ah, that's fine. Okay, now these guys have recognized it. The situation is probably a little bit shit. There's also a battalion of units up here. Okay, pikes. We should run up here quickly and block off their exit. Okay, you come over here. I want you to get off the wall. Same with you. And you come over here as well. And you two as well. Get over here. I want to block them off from getting to the gate, yeah. So stand in front of this gate here. No one's getting through. Complete you. Get on the ram. What's this? Arab infantry. General, go kill them. Infantry will come soon enough. You get over here. Start ramming this down. This has gone very well so far, I think. I'd happily throw away the entire army if it meant getting inside here as well. This is a citadel. I mean, I probably could have defended the settlement with what, what they've got. It can often be quite hard to take it on a citadel. I'm just excited to get rid of another faction, another person we won't have to worry about. I still don't really understand why they're not coming for us. Our men have reached the gates with a battering ram. It doesn't really bother me that much. If they just want to sit there. They must have run out of ammo. And they killed 20 of these guys, that's nothing. Get off the ram, not done yet. The gates have fallen. Here you go. Still the enemy, they have no interest in no interest in trying to get back to their town square. That's okay. Oh, shit, protect the fucking towers. Uh, the the ram, I mean. Motherfucker. All right, we might need we not, might need ladders for this actually. Get him over here. Okay, you come over here and pick up this ladder. Uh, what's going on over here? Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Where those guys that were over here? I hear they are. Bastards.
Can you get over here? I'm sure you can. Actually, it doesn't look like you will break them, but. No, don't die on me. Yeah, get back. Is very much in our favor. The enemy is badly blotted. Just waiting on them to break. Good. Don't let them get away. Why did they let them get away? Come on. Every last one of them. Just get this ladder up and. Oh shit. Fucking your own fault, you idiot. This guy here should be able to finish off the, the remainder of the army by himself. Because the thing is, the ballista towers can't destroy ladders. This won't take long. There's only what, five of them. As soon as you get up there and fight them, they'll probably break. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. Just as I said. We're not done with them yet. They've still got some soldiers over here. These heavy spears. Our cowardly fall of Christendom will be. We actually lost more men than the. Uh, that the enemy did, but they lost good quality units like those Cavill gunners. And I lost Arbalest militia. Who cares? They're easy. And with that, your faction is, is over. And that army becomes this one will be half of what it used to be. Door. And we've taken Granada, which is a citadel that has a master horse breeders guild, which does not help me at all. Well, there's no reason why you have to be stuck here, but there's no enemies in the area either. That's one enemy completely dealt with. So, time to do with Venice. So he's coming up this way, probably wants to have a fight. I was going to use them to fight, wasn't I? Can't quite make it there. Today's march ends, I think they've got enough skirmishes. Have another spearman. I mean, I could send them back, but I'd much rather make my way towards their capital. Push him out of the way. Now he wants to stand and fight. How come it gives them such good odds despite the fact that we severely outnumber them? Well, whatever, let's kill them. I just hope they don't ask for a peace treaty before we, you know, get to them. Because what they'll probably do, this is what Denmark was possibly originally planning was to uh, take a settlement and then ask for a peace treaty straight away, knowing well, they couldn't possibly know. But it foils, foils my plans because I have to accept every peace treaty that's offered. It's part of the fucking challenge. Alright, take a nice big high ground here. Are they going to come at us? Yep. They're going to get absolutely shredded by, by our troops. Unit, 
go. Charge it. It's all good. Remember, we're trying to kill them, not necessarily um, round them straight away. So we want we want the we don't want them to run away straight away. So let the fight continue. I think we've got the advantage here. The lines strong. We've got some good melee troops. We've got the high ground advantage. Just let it, let it happen. Only half the enemy force remains. If I bring the cavalry in and hit them in the flank, it'll only break them. And they're bien. all broken. The anyway. general lies dead. We the enemy flees the battle. Let's run see if we can down get a few those shots in before they before they run away. This is an act heroic, which a decent three to one kill ratio without too many captives. Actually, capturing them would have been good for his chivalry, but whatever. God be praised for this victory. We have to be careful with what we're doing here, because if we get too close, these guys will just wheel around and uh, come straight for us. Of course, Seigneur. With honor. En route, Seigneur. Oui. I could still build a fort here, which would protect me a, a little bit. Where shall we strike? An honor. Command me. Yeah, leave behind the Odessan guard. Move here, back him up. They'll Don't fight together today. if they're attacked. Senior. Garbage. Order. Just fucking garbage. Get out of my face. Right, what are we leaving behind Ready here? Able. You will Is there anything cheaper? We don't need a fort here. Let, let the fort go away. We can go no further. Wait. Alright, now we've also got a bit of a cavalry force here that we could possibly use to put some pressure on these guys here. Name the field of if I was also just to sally out and just have a, a little look at what they've got. How much cavalry do they have? Feudal knights, some mailed knights, and some mounted sergeants. Not much. I think what else? That's it. And they've got some feudal knights there as well. If we attacked that, these guys would come out and fight as well. I don't want to use this guy. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'll leave him behind, because he'll be good for a fort. Actually, if that's the case... This here is a great spot for a fort, because it completely blocks entrance into the area. So leave... Yep, leave... Ah, fuck. You will, Orders. Orders. Let's reorganize it. We don't have any missile units. Doesn't matter. We gotta lift the siege. And then if we can stay there on the uh, on this area here, maybe they'll try and attack us. Which actually, we, without missile units, I suppose we could use those. We're gonna need more troops here. Can't just leave it undefended. Now our chance of success here is actually quite low, but we're not really putting this settlement here at risk. Oh right, of course, they'd come and help as well. And this general sucks. And since we're an all cavalry force, we'd likely capture a lot of the enemy. Kinda not worth fighting, in all honesty. Well, we'll just hold the defensive position there, and if they decide to attack us, so be it. Well, no longer focusing on... What's it called? On Denmark. But, of course, I don't have that many soldiers here. Get some troops being recruited here, so we can move them against... Venice, just in case we don't succeed. Alright, we've got two and a half million. How about we buy some settlements? So, English. Let me just check their faction rating. Or their finances. They're bankrupt. Well, I can fix your banking problems. All you gotta do is sell me a region. Okay, they don't want to give up Dublin. Nope. 
for some reason they really want to hold on to Ireland. Okay, good. They'll get, uh, they'll happy to release uh, Canovan. I'll take that. Exeter. Nope, they don't want to give that up. Winchester. Nope. Wait, did I ask for London or Dublin? Looks like they'll only give up, um... Um, what was it? Canovan. And since they consider that generous, I might as well offer less. Like, say, maybe 80,000 instead of 100,000. Still considered generous, alright. How about 500, uh, 50,000? This seems quite reasonable. They're still considered poor, and they've just sold the region to me. Good day to you. But fifty thousand—that doesn't really do anything to my my treasury. We've got heaps of money still. And this settlement here—really not worth that much. Just a mason's guild, making two thousand a turn. So basically, twenty-five turns pays for for what we just um, bought there. Not to mention, it's, it saves us having to actually go in there and fight off them. Uh, let's keep recruiting here because those those nasty bloody Scots are nearby. You got plague here which doesn't help but whatever. Okay, get rid of this. Don't need it. Who else do you think we can purchase some land from? What about the Danes? See if I can get my settlements back. But where's my diplomat? That's the thing. I had a diplomat there, but then he died. Okay, here we go. I do not want trade rights, but if it's generous, then that's good. So if I can off ask for Cologne for, I don't know, 100,000. Okay, we can get Cologne back. Groningen seems to have become their capital. We can get Stettin. We've never had Stettin before, so that's good. And what about Antwerp? Want to give that up? No. Alright, so we can only get those two settlements. But that's still good. Now they're bankrupt, so this... This will give them enough money, I suppose, to train some more units. That's okay. They'll go bankrupt again very quickly, I think. Still considered demanding. Alright, we'll have to go 150,000. Wrong thing. I do not think you would accept my position. No, that's too much. Go with 160,000 then. No, we will not accept such a thing. Fuck off. You'll accept 170,000. This is not something we will agree to. Okay, I got an idea instead. I'll just offer them a gift. Your plan, something and they'll forget about it. And we'll try it again. Groningen is either their, their new capital or uh, it's under siege. I do not think Damn it. Would accept my position. I really don't want to have to give them lots of money. Go for 220. No. Fuck we off. I mean, I will pay. I would thing. pay that. It's not a problem, but I, I don't want to give them that much money. Try with 250. I do not think ah, fuck it, I'll just accept it. We shall not soon forget this. This is wonderful. So they're considered rich again, but I've just gained most of their land. So what's going on with Groningen? It's their capital. And what happened to this region out here? 
Where is it? Stettin. Was it Stettin that I bought? Yeah, it was Stettin that I bought, right. And didn't they have any more? No, I already took them all off them. They've only got two regions left now. However, because I've um, basically given them a lot of money, they might use that to uh, purchase more armies. Which sort of sets us backwards when we want to go and kill them next time. But then again, we have less, less territories we have to take off them. So we'll see, I guess. Now, what did Cologne have? Master Thieves Guild, which makes corruption just about disappear. Alright. Dan certainly have that. I mean, we've still got tons of cash left. Absolutely tons. Alright. Can we get another diplomat over here? Because I want to send it to Norway, see if I can buy their settlements. There's really not much more I can buy. Senior. Keep buying more just in case. Full stack army there. I forgot about these guys here. They weren't needed. That reminds me. This guy's ready to. Go on his adventure. Fuck this army here, I don't care about it. We don't really need to keep that fort there, but I think I will. Let me just see. Oh, hang on. No, that's the cheapest. And then they'll just go around making watchtowers across Africa. Of course, senor. Ready to sail. That's right, because the general came over here. There's no fleet that's going to take that down easily. What to do now? We couldn't quite... Ready, oh, actually, you can make it over here. I'm just concerned. If you do come over here, he'll come back name over here and smack you. Man. Something serious. We'll meet you there. Alright, this, this force is here. I'm going to leave behind this Arbalest militia and move down south. Setting a vigilant watch here. With honor. Setting a vigilant Where shall we strike? Same with all these guys. Huh. Keep them moving. Orders. Value. Oui, senor. Oui, mon roi. Oui. Marching. We camp here. What the fuck Orders. is this doing here? Get rid of them. Oh, that's right. These guys are on their way to attack Magdeburg. Could have put a stop to that if we can. Hopefully we get a good general. Who knows, they might wheel around and try to take Stettin. And that also reminds me, we need to besiege and take Thorn. Seigneur! We march on our victims, Seigneur! These lands will soon be yours, ready and able. Oui. Oui, mon roi. Ah, oh, fuck it. Just send them all ready then. They might just resolve it. Seigneur. To battle. Where shall we strike? Um. Just come over here and just build a fort. Oui, mon roi. Building new defenses. And he can have that. An honor. Full stack in here. Right. Alright, let's. Bu oh, I don't know if I want to build this turn, to be honest. Building every turn gets a bit tedious. Well, let's move on. I forgot to move someone, I see. It doesn't matter. Let's see what Venice is going to get up to. Our people have something to discuss. <laughs> you can go ahead and attack. No matter. Perhaps this concludes our meeting, yes?
Okay, a little bit concerned about this. Because we have two shit armies versus their... Okay, this is uh, not too bad. Lots of artillery just means we need to be aggressive. I will need him to fight with us. Richard the Humane, huh? And he's got good command against Captain Guido. Alright, let's kill them. If they lose this fight, they'll probably try and beg for a peace treaty. Which I really hope they don't, because I want to take you their know, settlements, so I don't have to worry about them again. Seems to have us. Once a faction's gone, it doesn't come back, unless it's the Mongols. Okay, let's reorganize. Got a lot of really garbagey units here. Okay, reinforcements will be coming from down here. So we need to... Oh, hang on. What was that? You've got sharpened stakes. Anyone else got sharpened stakes? No, just you. Since there's only 15 of them, a set a trap. Right there. They might just completely ignore it. Who knows? Or they might not. Who knows? Oh, hang on. Reinforcement's coming from over here. Uh, it's actually probably better. Not 100% confident on this, to be honest. The option to retreat is available, though. Yeah, that's it. Waste your ammunition on this loser. Go for it. Hopefully they send their cavalry just charging right to the front here. What units do you have? Bit of this, bit of that. It's just a crappy army. I really want their cavalry to just charge at us. That would have been hilarious to see them die. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god damn it! Don't don't send the general in first. See, this is a situation in which you would use loose formation, and we don't have uh, skirmish superiority. All right, we're going to need to move up because they're changing their direction. We lack cavalry. Alright, you go charge in on these catapults. I know you can't beat them, but just do it anyway. However, when we use these guys, we don't use skirmishing superiority. You're going to need to fight as well. If you can get rid of some of these ca uh, catapults, that'd be great. What I want these guys to do now is actually just hold the defensive position here. Because they've taken the attention away from, say, 80% of their army. So if we can get rid of this first, we just, you know, divide and conquer. Take out the smallest and easiest bit first, and then we'll deal with the rest later. So, these catapults, and... S oh, shit. You start shooting those urban crossbows. Those catapults are dealt with. These guys over here, they're not changing direction yet. And actually, yes, they are. Cavalry militia are. Turn around. Let's see if we can lure this guy right into these bloody spikes here. Alright, time to be aggressive. If you can, get rid of these cavalry militia. They're making it hard for me to maneuver. I'm supposed to be running. Where are you? What are you doing? Get over here. They're still fighting. Can't expect them to do much. 3 to 9%. So we're technically winning, but. In a way, we've kind of got skirmishing superiority. Okay, archers. Uh, just quit it now. He's going to go in there and finish them off. Oh, I fucking hate it when they send the general in. 
They sent the general in fucking first. What a bunch of idiots. Fucking AI reinforcements are just the worst. Fuck, where are my units? Get over here. Fight them. Shit. Okay, it's not too bad yet. They're almost gone. Then I need you to go take out... Take them out. How's this going? I wish this general would pull out. But they actually seem to be doing okay. Come on, hurry up and get rid of them. Sixteen to four, half of the army's dead. Well, then again, most of them are just their bloody urban crush blows. Yeah, go after those artillery, they're making me nervous. You chase after them if you would. Actually, the entire remainder of the army. Except for you. Only half the enemy force remain. For Into the them. Moment, the chance of battle goes our way. Yeah, you watch as soon as he dies, they'll they'll fuck up. And he's the young one as well. It just irritates me that the uh, the AI can be so stupid sometimes. I can't tell them, you know, don't sacrifice your general. Or if I could just tell this one unit just to fucking pull back. But they are breaking the enemy. And who knows, maybe my general will be the one that dies. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. They're all falling apart with absolutely crush them and these guys actually did most of the work I guess when they split their forces up they uh, they couldn't hold up against us I do wonder how many of them we've actually captured though because we don't want to be capturing we want to be killing them but a victory will do As long as we the kill more than we lose. No ah, bien. We have captured the enemy's general. Our men have fought long and are becoming... The enemy flees the battle. Run down those worthless peasants. Alright, that'll do. So here we go. The enemy are utterly vanquished. Actually, that was really, this is really a well. Victory and my allied general didn't die. Well, that was pretty much Venice's strongest army, so... How much they can do now? Seigneur, we have clipped three more one, raising the fortification. Cease hostilities with the uh, public, sorry, Republic of Venice. You may be excommunicated. You know, they declared war on me, bitch, so I don't even give a shit. I don't care if I get excommunicated. Ready and able. And if you have a look here. Yeah, we would be able to bloody issue a, a um, crusade if this guy wasn't a bloody ass monkey. Senor, ready and able. If I had some artillery, I could get into burn, possibly. An honor. But I disbanded it because it just takes them too long to get here. I can always just lay siege. We might be able to Come face me. liberate that siege as well. The thing is, if we liberate that siege, they might ask for a peace treaty, and of course we'd have to accept it. So they're probably getting ready to attack Magdeburg, but they bought us a bit more time to recruit. Anyway, with that, we're going to end the video here. So guys, like and subscribe, part 90's next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.